Welcome back to the third session of our uh, module on Tocharian phonology. In this session, we'll be looking at Tocharian syllables, specifically in the context of meter. Tocharian meter uh, is in the tradition of the Sanskrit meter. As you know, the Tocharians lived uh, at the crossroads of the Silk Road in what today is northern, uh, northwest China, in the Uyghur autonomous region of uh, Xinjiang. The Silk Road is, of course, famous for its long distance strait that connected China via Central Asia and the Middle East with the Mediterranean. The Silk Road was a transmission belt for goods, people, ideas, and technical uh, innovations. Uh, it was the passageway on which Buddhism spread from India to Central Asia and further to China. And this is how the Tocharians acquired Buddhism and became connected to the Iranian, Indian, and Chinese world. The Tocharians were very fond of poetry. Um, metrical passages are found all over our manuscript fragments. And one genre that particularly thrived among the Tocharians was Buddhist drama. There are a lot of fragments of uh, theater plays that use uh, prose and uh, metrical language. And that the Tocharians were actually famous for their uh, art as performers is also evidenced by Chinese uh, sources from the Sui uh, dynasty, uh, where ensembles uh, from culture uh, are mentioned in the Sui show in the history uh, of this dynasty. So uh, let's turn to Tocharian meter. Syllables play a, a role in Tocharian meter. Tocharian meter is purely a syllable counting. That means uh, that stress and or syllable weight are disregarded for metrical purposes. Verses are subdivided into stanzas. Stanzas are subdivided into uh, lines or padas, which is the Sanskrit name. Lines have a fixed number uh, of syllables, as we will see. And lines can be further subdivided into smaller units called kola. So the following example that we will uh, see is taken from Tocharian B. Uh, however, Tocharian A and Tocharian B are not differing when it comes to meter. Um, this is an example taken from Ktom TRT 107 uh, and the line will be B4. And you already know uh, what Ktom and THT stand for, uh, the online edition of Tocharian manuscripts and the manuscript from the collection of the Turfansammlung. THD 107 is one of a very few complete pages of a manuscript. You can go and check the photo of the manuscript out online on Ketom. The text it contains is part of a Buddha legend and this story, for which we also have Sanskrit and Chinese parallels, is about the young uh, women Nanda and Nandabala who are preparing food for the best of all sages. Our passage is shortly after a group of gods to whom Nanda and Nandabala were offering what they have cooked uh, refused their offering. The scene shifts and we see the Buddha and uh, this is where our passage here uh, starts. Um, so I first uh, read the translation to you. So in the meantime, the Bodhisattva descended into the river Nairanjana. He bathed and washed all his uh, limbs and rags. The gods bent down uh, an Arjuna tree for him uh, and this he took. He went out of the river Nairanjana and uh, donned the Kashya uh, garment. And the Kashya garment is the traditional orange uh, Buddhist uh, garment. After this, the group of gods point out uh, the Buddha as the best of all sages and Nanda and Nandabala will offer the meal to him. Um, and here I stop because of spoiler alert. Um, so let me try to read this passage uh, to you rhythmically. Ten empikte bodhisattva naranjane Karpanyasha Lyasa Vrenta Polaikate Nyakti Arjun Stam Nemarnesh Chao Engsate Nairan Jamnen Leish Vusate Kasharvasi. So if we look here, uh, Ten Empikte constitutes a colon. Bodhisattva constitutes a colon and Nairanjane constitutes a colon. The whole thing, these three colons, are called uh, a pada. And the whole passage is a stanza. You notice that every colon has a fixed number of syllables and every pada has a fixed number uh, of syllables and the whole stanza has a fixed number of padas. 
Uh, the example we just saw is a very common type of 4 times 12, 4, 4, 4, meaning four padas, each 12 syllables, and a division in cola of four syllables each. Other uh, common types are 4 times 12, 5, 4, 3, meaning four padas, each 12 syllables, and a division in cola of five, four, and three syllables. Four times 14, four, three, three, uh, three meaning four padas, each 14 syllables, and a division into a cola of four, three, four, three syllables. Four, 15, four, three, three, five, meaning five, four padas, each 15 syllables, and a division in cola of four, three, three, and five syllables. Then four times 17, six, six, five, meaning four padas, each 17 uh, syllables and a division in cola of six, six, five syllables. And four times 18, four, three, four, three, four, meaning four padas, each 18 syllables and a division in cola of four, three, four, three, four syllables. And finally, four, uh, 25, Five, five, eight, seven, meaning four parters, each 25 syllables, and a division in cola of five, five, eight, seven syllables. This was a glimpse into Tocharian poetry based on the phonological concept of the syllable in Tocharian. Thank you very much for your attention.